24, Kathy McKechnie. 33, Sarah Dorr. Number 34, Angela Baldwin. 42, Tammy LaFerrier. Number 44, Debbie Chamler. Now for your starters, beginning with a Bangor Ram, the junior guard, number 20, Courtney Parker. For the Coney Rams, a junior forward, number 30, Ann Natto. For the Bangor Rams, a junior guard, number 34, Leah Thistle. For the Coney Rams, a junior guard, number 31, Elisa Farrell. For the Bangor Rams, a junior forward, number 44, Jean Engelbrett. And for the Rams, a senior at center, number 32, Chrisanne Burns. And for the Bangor Rams, a senior, forward number 50, Charlotte Steer. And for Coney, a senior at Ford, number 23, Tammy Maselli. For the Bangor Rams, a senior at guard, number 10, Amy Waterman. And for the Coney Rams, a senior at guard, number 21, Sarah Fenderson. Your officials for this game, Mr. Orser and Mr. Sawyer. Okay, we're about ready to start the second ball game of the morning. First Class A girls quarterfinal. The Coney Rams and the Bangor Rams. Coach should be an interesting one. Similar yeah. styles. Well, I think the only thing that shows is you know the Rams are going to win. That's about <laughs> it. That's a good prediction. I'll even bet on that one. <laughs> No, I think it'll be a good ball game, and I, I think, you know, Bangor might have a little bit of a height advantage, and Coney may have a little bit more quickness, so I think, I think he got a real good matchup. Leah Thistle and Chris Ann Burns will start things out, along with referee Harry Orser. First a county official, along with John Sawyer, the other official. We're about ready. Tap's going to be controlled by Courtney Parker, Bangor down the right side, looking inside the Thistle. The ball goes out of bounds, off her hands. Turnover number one. Goes to Bangor. I think we've got a contact already. Oh, geez, that didn't take long. <laughs> that didn't take long, right? She well, found it, though, right. thank goodness. Four seconds into the game, we got a contact. <laughs> and we're going to have a substitution right off the bat. Mary Esty coming to the ball game for Leah Thistle as she tries to replace her contact. And Coney starts with their first possession. Sarah Fenderson working hard against Amy Waterman on the right side to Netto. Long shot by Netto is off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound to Engelbrecht. Gives it to Parker, working against Farrell. On the right side to Waterman. To Sear, looking inside to Engelbrecht. Turnaround jump shot by Engelbrecht. off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound to Esty. Shot up by Esty. She's going to be tied up by Alyssa Farrell. Possession, Coney. Leah Thistle getting ready to come back in the ball game for Mary Esty. So a 14-second stay by Mary Esty. <laughs> Both teams right man to man now, Tom, so uh, it's looking for a good hard-nosed game, I think. Both teams are going to come right after each other. Both teams want this one badly, and both teams go after each other all the time. Ball's going to be knocked, stolen away by Leah Thistle. Nice defensive effort there by Jeannie Engelbrecht. Thistle takes it across half court in her own. Out top to Parker. You can't leave her open. Shot it by Parker. This time's off the backboard. No good. Rebound Maselli. Who gets it to Fenderson, who's going to quarterback the Coney offense. She takes it against Waterman. Waterman's going to be called for the foul on the drive. Out near the foul line. Good penetration by Coney then and uh, forced the Bangor defense to come over and close the door just a little bit late. Get the reaching foul. I think Coach Tennant uh, said before the game they need to weather the first few minutes because they know Coney's going to 
red at him because of uh, what's happened in the past, especially last year. Sarah Fennison again takes the ball to the basket. Shot up off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, Bangor's Ginny Engelbrecht. Off to Waterman across his half court, working against Sarah Fenderson. On the left side, the Thistle. Working still against man to man pressure of Koenig. Bangor's Parker tries to get it inside to see her, and she's going to be fouled by Anna Neto. Now, Bangor going to their motion offense right now. Screen on the baseline, screen away from the point to the wing. Go against Koenig's man to man. Lots of positive movement in that case created the, the foul situation. Courtney Park is going to trigger it in for the Rams of Bangor. Baseline to get it to Thistle. Inside to Charlotte Sear. Ball's going to go out of bounds off Charlotte Sear, and it will go back to Coney. Again, pretty good defense on Coney's spot in the interior game. Right now, defense dominates this game time. I anticipate it's going to be aggressive the entire ball game. Inside, they try to go to Maselli, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds. We'll see who touches it. They say off Jeannie Engelbrecht. And it will remain Coney basketball. And if de defense dominates, we can see this score will be in the 40s. Sarah Fenderson keys it in. Out top, they get it to Neto. She's going to lose it out of bounds on the sideline, and it's going to go over to Bangor. A minute and a half into this one. 0-0. Zero, zero. Nobody able to break the ice yet. Parker taking the ball across half court in her own. Being pressured by Neto. Skip pass on the left side to Thistle. Still working against that tough Coney man-to-man. -man. Inside, they get it to see it. Turnaround jump shot by Sears. Good, but a three-second call by referee John Sawyer. Bangor got the ball inside pretty well after the screen away. The, the person the screen came back up to receive the ball. That's a pretty good entry pass. Well, let's see if they decide to explore that a little bit more as the game wears on. Anonetto, baseline, tries to go on Thistle. Nothing there. Good defensive job that time by Thistle. Farrell with a long three-pointer. No good. Rebound, Maselli. Long pass, Farrell's going to go into the backcourt. It's going to be a backcourt violation on the Coney Rams. Turnover this time for Coney. We'll, we'll give the ball to Bangor. Courtney Parker gets it into Thistle. Working against Maselli. Out top to Parker. Inside at the top, they go to Thistle. To Waterman. Left to Parker. Pretty good man-to-man -man being played by Coney. Long shot by Thistles off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound to Charlotte Sear. She falls to the floor with the ball, which is a traveling violation. You know, my, a lot of people might think that, you know, both teams aren't doing very much offensively, but really it's the defense that's dictating this thing right now. You're right. And speaking of defense, we have some more full court pressure here being applied by Bangor. And on that pressure, Courtney Parker is going to be called for the foul. Zero. One. Courtney Parker's first personal foul. And the second on Bangor. Sarah Fenderson, 5'4", senior guard for Coach Paul Vashon of the Coney Rams. She runs the point for him. On the right side, she gets it to Farrell. Inside, they try to go to Chris Ann Burns. Nothing there. Long shot by Farrell is up off the back of the rib. No good. She gets her own rebound. They go to Anna Neto on the left-hand side. She thinks about the three, decides to take it. Long off the back of the board. No good. Rebound, Engelbrecht. Engelbrecht has had a nice year. She's doing a nice job so far this morning, Coach, off the rebound. Right, and, and uh, you know, Bang was a little bit from going to one shot. Again, credit the defense again. Thistle on the baseline. Shot is short. May have been partially blocked. Rebound, Chris Ann Burns. Off to Sarah Fenderson. Pushes it up, looking to penetrate. Nice job of shutting off the penetration by Amy Waterman. Skip pass to Farrell. Inside to Maselli, guarded by Engelbrecht. Shot over Engelbrecht, no good. Again, as Coach said, one shot and out for the Coney Rams. Courtney Parker trying to penetrate herself. Shut off by Netta. On top, she gets it to Waterman. Inside to Engelbrecht. Turn around, jump shot by Engelbrecht. is good. And four minutes into this one, it's tuned up in Bangor. Nice interior pass with a paint for the Chris, race shot. Chris Ann Burns inside off the glass. And good. Speaking of good interior passing, Sarah Fenderson. That didn't take very long, did it? <laughs> what, what score team really was the way back after. More oh, full court pressure here. Looks like 1-3-1. One, one. Trapping pressure by the Coney Rams. Thistle with a foul line jump shot off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound. It's going to be a tie-up. And it's going to belong to Bangor. Bill Keaton from the baseline, says referee Harry Orser. 
looks like both teams are well prepared for this ball game. I think both coaches did their homework, probably had excellent scouting reports, and they've come out and designed their defense to go right after the strength of the other team. No question about it. These coaches are both good quality coaches. Courtney Parker's going to take the ball to the basket. She's going to be fouled on the drive. You know, it's interesting, Tom, because, you know, you get a week to prepare for somebody. Like, in the regular season, you're playing, you know, two games a week. It's split up. You know, your preparation is limited to two or three days at a time. But when you can have a week to get ready for somebody, uh, you know, it, it really makes for a, a much better situation, I think. Courtney Parker's first shot is off the front of the rim, no good. Certainly agree with you, Coach. And one of the things that we've tried to do this week is get to some of the little things that you might not normally get to. Uh, I think that's right, Tom. And, and you know, the old days when you used to play a tournament three days in a row, uh, you didn't have that luxury of, you know, have a week off, like, or even the B tournament or C tournament to get three days in between. Coney with the rebound off the Parker miss, and stolen away by Engelbrecht. Off to Waterman, takes it across half court, working against Sarah Fenderson. Parker working against Farrell. Fakes right, tries to go left, nothing there. Inside to get it to Sear. Shot off the rim, no good. Rebound Engelbrecht, shot is up by Engelbrecht, no good, but she's going to be fouled. Yeah, good, uh, it was a good offensive rebound, a good effort, and... Uh, Bagger trying to pound that offensive board for second shots, but they have such a hard job getting good first shots. Gene Engelbrecht, I think, has had a wonderful year for Bagger and Coach Tom Tennant, transferring in from Dover Foxcroft, along with Leah Thistle. She's been a great addition to the Bangor Rams this year. Well, they give them, you know, that little size advantage right now that Bagger probably has over Coney, and, uh, and she's a good interior player. She misses the first of two foul shots. First substitution of the game for Coney, Tammy LaFerriere comes in for Tammy Maselli. Two to two here. Five minutes into this one. Rebound this time by LaFerriere. Good sized girl at six feet even. Only a sophomore for Coach Paul Vashon. That'll leave the height advantage that Bangla had by getting her the ball game. That's a good pull. Give it a little more size. Sarah Fenderson at the foul line being guarded closely by Waterman. The ball is going to be almost knocked away and recovered this time by Farrell. They go to LaFerrier. She tries to drive, and on the drive, she's going to be called for steps in the traveling violation. Leah Thistle working against full court pressure by Coney. Gets it into Parker. Takes her across half court, working against Farrell. Looking to set up the offense, she gets it to Waterman. On the left side to Parker. Nothing available inside. Baseline, they get it to Thistle. Shot off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound the Ferrier. Off to Fenderson. Bangor changed their offense at set time. They went to what they call a Pistons Detroit offense. Uh, two people on the baseline, high post, down screen off, got a nice little shot in the end. So Tommy's uh, changed around a little bit and uh, gone from motion to uh, Detroit. On the uh, Coney possession, the ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Sarah Fenderson went down pretty hard. They waited to see if she's all right. They're going to call Coach Paul Vashon out. Check her. You can see Sarah Fenderson on the replay takes the ball to the middle, gets hit, actually inadvertently and goes to the floor. That's why no foul call. I think some of the fans are a little upset with it, but uh, good no call by the officials. Right, uh, you know, she penetrated, and uh, when she went up, lost her balance when she came down. You know, you hate to see anybody uh, get hurt. As a nice show of sportsmanship by Jane Engelbrecht, going over to see if Sarah Fenison's okay. One thing about falling on this floor, Tom, it's not like falling on a, on a floor that's right on cement. At least it's portable, and there's quite a bit of give to it. So an injury that like to have on a, on a real hard surface floor, certainly might be more serious than uh, coming off on this one. Let's see Lynn Knoyer into the ball game. Two to two, Bangor and Coney. We're about six minutes into the first girls Class A quarterfinal game of 1992. Bangor and Coney. Courtney Parker gives it to Thistle just across the timeline. Off to Waterman, baseline to Sear. Looking to go inside, nothing there. Sear tries to drive baseline, just throws it under the rim, no good. And it's going to be Coney basketball. Christian Burns with the rebound gets it to Farrell. They go to Knoyer on the left-hand side, out top to Anna Netto. Tries to drive, does. Shot up by Netto off the glass and in. And Coney with their first lead of the ball game at 4-2. We're under two minutes. Remaining in period number one. More full-court pressure being applied by the Coney Rams against Bangor. 
Parker gets it across half court, loses control. It's going to be knocked away. Goes over the backboard, picked up by Waterman. Engel, up to Engelbrecht, drives baseline. Shot up by Engelbrecht is good. 4 4. We're not at, at four again. Knoyer gets it up to Andonetto, working against Bangor's pressure. Neto takes it baseline, gives it off to Chris Ann Burns, shot off the backboard, no good. Rebound Burns, shot up, no good. Rebound Amy Waterman. Good move by Amy Waterman to pull it back out, control it. She was working one on four. She gets it to Parker, working against Alyssa Farrell and Coney. Out top to Waterman, inside turnaround jump shot by Sears, short. Ball's going to be saved in by Engelbrecht, who takes the rest of the stand. Good, good effort by Fistle, 234, because she got to go out of bounds to uh, catch that and throw it back in before she hit the floor. Good hustle there by Bangor. And on the drive, Charlotte C is going to be fouled by Alyssa Farrell. One of the things Coney's done for years, they've had excellent active hands. And this time, Alyssa Farrell's called for the foul on the drive. You know, Tom, considering as tough a defense of the teams have played, you're looking up at only 16 fouls between the two teams. So that means they're moving their feet, doing the right things. And I think both coaches are going to be pleased with the, the defensive end. Is, I'm sure they're really not satisfied with their offense. No question. Mary Essie into the ball game, along with Michelle Poles and Shauna Cook for Bangor. I think, too, as the kids get tired and, and back off a little bit, the, the scoring will pick up. Courtney Parker keys it in on the baseline to Esty. Back to Parker. Drives the middle of the lane. Left hand a runner up by Parker. No good. Rebound off to Bangor. Shawna Cook. She's knocked to the ground. Gets it off to Engelbrecht. Turn around by Engelbrecht. is good. Real good. A little contact there. But right. Real good presence by Engelbrecht. She didn't let the contact bar. She just turned right around, faced up, squared up, and uh, drilled it. Double dribble violation this time on Lynn Knoyer of Coney as she takes the ball across half court. And turnover with 25 seconds left. Bangor leading 6-4. They have the basketball. Tough man-to-man -to -man pressure. They get it into Shauna Cook, who hands it to Courtney Parker. Both teams using a lot of people here at the end of the first quarter. Inside to Engelbrecht, turn around, jump shot by Engelbrecht. It's no good, rebound to Ferrier. We're under 10 seconds. Knoyer with it for Coney. Ball's gonna be Knocked away by Parker. She, she is going to be called for the personal foul, attempting to steal the basketball. Well, good hustle on Parker's uh, part. The ball was loose. She hit right after. Nice aggressive play. Her second personal foul. That will bring Amy Waterman back into the game. For Bangor. Three seconds remaining. Period number one. Class A girls quarterfinal action from the Bangor Auditorium. Ball is going to be knocked away by Mary Esty. It will remain with... The Coney Rams. is going to trigger it in. They look to get a baseline to Burns. She's bumped on the shot. No call. And the shot is no good. We're at the end of one. The score. Bangor six and Coney four. We'll be back after this one-minute break. Okay, back in action. Coney with the first possession in the second quarter. And Annetto takes it to the basket for Coney. And she's going to be fouled on the shot. Now, Coach Van Sean, I'm sure that break up, set something up, changed their offense around, uh, ran a little double screen on the baseline, swung to the foul line, and then I got a foul shot right away. Good job. Looking for a little quick offense. Try to ignite things. In a netto. At the line, we'll shoot a pair. First one by Netto is off the back of the rim, no good. Netto's a 5'9 junior. Coach Paul Vashon. She'll have another, and the second one is good. All net. 6-5. They trail by one. More full court pressure by Coney. Looks to be man-to-man -man this time. Courtney Parker working against Farrell on the right-hand side. Up top to Poles, Shauna Cook. She'll shoot the basketball. She's a good shooter. And Shauna Cook. Top to Parker. Top to Charlotte Sear. Shauna Cook tries to drive to the middle, nothing there. They get it up to Poles. Back to Parker in the middle. Looking inside to Cook, shot up by Cook baseline. It's gonna hit the side of the backboard. Rebound Poles, shot up by Poles, no good. Rebound, we're gonna have a foul. It looks on Charlotte Sear, possibly. Shauna Cook, I think. Yeah, Shauna Cook is called for the personal. 
It'll be Coney basketball. Bang Bangor still trying to run their motion offense down there. The screens on the baseline. Sarah Fenderson, Farrell on the right hand side, being guarded closely by Parker. They swing it back to Fenderson. Inside on some backdoor cuts. They look to net on nothing there. Good defensive set that time by Michelle Poles. Five second violation on Sarah Fenderson. Again, good tough defense on Bangor's part this time. Really, it's been a real defensive struggle here for both teams. They've really played well. The interior defense that time down the floor by Bangor. Neto looked like she was open on the back door cut, and they shut it down very, very quickly. Yeah, good, good adjustment. Job. Yeah, really good adjustment. Michelle Poles gets it to Esty on the baseline. Esty goes baseline, shot up by Esty's no good. Rebound by Maselli, and she's going to be fouled by Esty on the rebound. Yeah, how many times that happened? Shoot and miss and then foul. High oh. school kids, and it's, it's, it's a, almost a normal reaction. And it's so frustrating from the bench because, hey, no big deal, you miss a shot, that's all right. Right, and I, it hasn't changed, Tom, since when I started <laughs> coaching in the 60s, it's still here with us in the 90s. Sarah Fenderson working against Poles, gets it baseline to Neto, up fake by Neto, drop from the baseline's no good, rebound to Tammy Maselli. Turn around by Maselli's no good, rebound, and a tie up on the rebound with Christian Burns, and shot a quick possession, goes to Bangor. 6.27 remaining period number two. We're at 6.5 in, Bangor, in favor of the Bangor Rams. I think both coaches could really look and say, hey, you know, the defense has really done the job. And I think the adjustment's going to be is who can really get their offense going here. On the right side, Poles. The dribble baseline, nothing there. They look to go inside to Shauna Cook. Ball to cover the opposite side by Thistle. Out front to Poles, back to Parker. Engelbrecht gets ready to check in for Coach Tennant. Sh shot up by uh, Thistle is no good off the back of the rim. And rebound to Coney Sparrow. Fenderson takes the ball right to the basket. And good. That's a quick way to create some offense. Right, right at top. That's the first time that's really been an easy shot. I mean, everything else has been really earned. Long on court pass by Courtney Parker is going to go over Shauna Cook's head and out of bounds. See the last play by Sarah Fenderson as the defender gives her that lane and she takes advantage of it, and takes it right to the basket, lays it off the glass and in for two. That's really the first uncontested hoop of this ball game, Tom. Anna Neto on the baseline is going to be called for steps as she tries to take the ball to the middle of the lane. Another turnover. Miles by some pretty good defense. And a little anxious time by Anna Neto. Long out court pass for Charlotte Sierra. She tries to go inside, ball's going to be knocked out of bounds, but she touches it before it does, and it's going to be Coney basketball. 7-6, the Coney Rams lead the Bangor Rams with 5.35 remaining, period number two. Sarah Fenderson working against Waterman, ball's going to be knocked away by Courtney Parker, but she's going to be called for being on the sideline, and the ball will remain with Coney. Well, there's really not much to choose between these two teams. They both are just coming right after each other with defense. It's just really out. Sarah Fenison getting the ball in from Farrell. Working more against Waterman. Long shot by Farrell from the left side. It's no good. Rebound off to Engelbrecht. She's had a handful of rebounds early in this one. As Waterman brings it across half court, it's going to be knocked away by Fenderson. Ball's loose on the floor. Farrell's got it. She's trying to get it to back to Fenderson. And finally is picked up by Courtney Parker. They get it to Waterman. A lot of action. Oh. A lot of action. Oh, it's a physical play inside now. Ball's going inside to Engelbrecht. It's going to be called a jump ball. Possession hour this time belongs to the Coney Rams. Well, the coach is wondering at this point, what, what can we do offensively? We're very pleased defensively. What can we do offensively? The intensity of the game, I think, was really illustrated just on the that last play with the ball on the floor. Boy, they really were after it. Drive by Neto. Ball's knocked loose. Picked off by Bangor. Courtney Parker, don't leave her alone. Shot up by Parker. is good. Three-pointer, Courtney Parker. It's 9-7 Bangor. Sarah Fenderson, this time dribbling right through the press, gets it up to Christine Burns. Alyssa Farrell on the left inside. Ball's off the front of the rim. Rebound to Fenderson. Long shot by Fenderson. Good! Last three baskets have come when players have got uncontested shots. They've had just a little bit of tough time to do what they really wanted to do. As the defense tires, I think that we'll see that pick up. Bangor's Courtney Parker bringing the ball up. Gets pressure by 
Cody Rams. Shot up by Thistle is no good. She falls to the floor. Rebound Maselli of Cody. Gets it to finish it on the right side to Anna Nettle. Skip pass off to Farrell inside. They get it to Chris Ann Burns. Turnout shot by Burns. It's going to be no good, but she's going to be fouled on the play. It looks like by Gene Engelbrecht. 44, Anything you get in the paint today, you're going to earn. Coach Pal Bash on his Coney Rams staff trying to think things out here. How can we get this offense moving? It's like, uh, you know, uh, bees to honey with that ball when it gets inside because, boy, they just swarm the defense. Just collapses and uh, it's really tough to really get a shot inside. And I think that's what happened the last time down on the long rebound of the three-pointer by Sarah Fenderson. Everybody had collapsed inside. The rebound went long, and she had an uncontested three. Exactly, and that uh, credit to the defense. Uh, just to have to be in the right place at the right time, but uh, the defense has really have worked hard. Both shots missed by Chris Ann Burns, and Leah Thistle on a nice rebound, falling to the floor, keeping her dribble to avoid the travel. And she gets it to Waterman, who brings her across half court, gives it to Parker. Still working against Farrell. On the right side, Waterman. Looking to post up is Leah Thistle. Nothing there. They go with the screen away, trying to get to Ingebrecht in the middle. They don't see her. Parker on the left-hand side, trying to go inside to Thistle. Ball's going to be knocked away and tied up. This time, possession arrow belongs to Bangor. In the ball game for Coney is Tamer LeFerrier, the six-foot sophomore for Coach Paul Vashon, and Chris Ann Burns will get a rest. Courtney Parker trigger it in for the Bangor Rams. It's hard not to say just Rams. Right. <laughs> but if you say Rams, you're not you wrong. You can't be wrong. Right. <laughs> Leah Thistle posted up his seer. Ball off the back of the rim, no good. Rebounding action is going to be a tie-up. And this time it's going to belong to Coney. Now Bangor's going to come right after him full court. Boy, both teams going right at each other. No question about that. They get it up. Coney does on the left side to Farrell. Long shot this time by Maselli off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound inside is no good. Rebound this time to Duffy. No good. Rebound this time to Leah Thistle of Bangor. Good physical rebound. Ball is going to be knocked out of bounds. Let's see who touches it last. It stays with Bangor. It's almost like playing against yourself because they're just a mirror of each other. I mean, the intensity, the pressure. Uh, it's really probably like a little squad scrimmage. <laughs> Leah Thistle taking the ball up, gets it baseline to Engelbeck, who drives, trying to go by Maselli. So when you, when you say that the name Rams are the same, really the styles of the, these two teams today, at least, are really playing just, it's almost merit to merit. You look at the score and you say 10 to 9, and you say, ooh, this must be a sloppy game, but it's really not. It's a great defensive battle right now. Both teams playing very aggressively and doing a good job. Jane Engelbrecht. Today was six points already. Her season average 7.2, as you can see. I think this, the stats would reveal at halftime that, uh, you know, the teams have got a lot of shots off. The percentages aren't very good because the defense has been right with them. Jane Engelbrecht not to score a 10 by making the first one. Her second shot is up off the rim. No good. Rebound to Coney. Sarah Fenderson takes it across half court. Trying to get a baseline to Duffy. Ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Coney. Coney attempting to try to get that pressing and running game going. Having a hard time doing that at this point and converting on the end. Long shot baseline by Fenderson. It's good. Three-pointer. See, again, that uncontested shot. She had a little bit of time. Bang, they just couldn't get out on her. And uh, I think when they get the time, they're going to make the hoops. Sometimes, as you well know, Coach, you forget about that player taking the ball out of bounds. That's what happens. Sarah Fenderson on the steal for Coney. Ball's going to be knocked out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Coney as Fenderson goes to the floor again. Yep, she had plenty of room to shoot, and uh, out, of, out of bounds, uh, nice out of bounds play from Coney. She took the ball out of bounds, passed it in, and stepped back. Defense forgot her for a second. She uh, was able to uh, hit the wide open three. Speaking of wide open threes, yeah. Farrell. Hits it off the back of the rim. Rebound to Leah Thistle. Courtney Parker takes it across as we approach the two-minute mark. Ball stolen away by Farrell. She gets it to Fenderson. Up court to Maselli. Working against Thistle. Up fake by Maselli. Gets Thistle up in the air, and she converts. 
Coney with a five-point lead, their biggest lead of the ballgame. Stolen away by Finnison on the inbound pass, and she's going to be fouled by Thistle. Coach Tom Tennant wants timeout with a score of 15-10, 150 remaining. We'll be back after this 30-second break. Okay, you see in the fast break this time, long up court pass to Maselli. Nice up fake by Maselli. Gets Thistle in the air, and she lays it off the glass for two. Nice presence, too, because she stopped and then waited for the defender to go by, then power instead of taking it on the move. And that's a hard thing to do for anybody. That's right. Nice she, play. She heard the footsteps, but uh, stopped and let the footsteps go by her. 150 remaining period number two, Class A girls quarterfinal action, 15 to 10. Favor of the Coney Rams. Sarah Fenderson at the line with a chance to increase that. Coney gets the uh, steal off the pressure. Fenderson off the back of the rim, no good. And that's what's going to happen, Tom. You know, you keep playing high defense and high defense, and eventually you're going to get a little bit of a run. Coney has that right now. But Fenderson can't convert. Rebound to Maselli off the back of the rim, good. Tammy Maselli with two key hoops. And Coney leads it by seven. Courtney Parker working against Farrell. Gets it across half court against the tight man to man. Waterman working against Fenderson. On the left hand side, back they, they go to Parker. Trying to post up Thistle against Maselli. They do. Ball's going to be knocked away at some weak side help. Nice save by Leah Thistle. Long shot by Courtney Parker. Rebound is going to go to Bangor. Sherry Nye. Inside they get it to Thistle. Rebound, Charlotte Sear. Shot up by Sear, off the glass and in. 17-12. Bangor gets their first hoop in a long time. Kelly Duffy looking to back in against Thistle. Left-handed shot by Duffy's no good. Rebound's gonna be knocked away by Alyssa Farrell, but picked back up by Charlotte Sear, who gets it to Parker. Parker's gonna be called for the player control foul on the drive, a little bit out of control. And that's not something that Coach Tom Tennant wanted to see, as he's going to have to bring Michelle Poles back in the ball game because Courtney Parker picks up number three. Good defense on the Coney part, though. The Coney defender came over, closed the door, got there, and uh, it was set for uh, when the contact occurred. Good play on the Coney's defense. Courtney Parker has lived with that all year long. She pushes the ball up, and every once in a while you're going to have to live with one of those calls. But she's been very successful this year in pushing the ball right toward the basket. Sarah Fenderson for Coney on the right side to Duffy. They look to go inside, and on the post-up move, there's gonna be a foul against Bangor's Gene Engelbrecht, who is playing behind Tammy LaFerrier for Coney on the post. And on that offensive set to Coney, they ran out of a stack, uh, screened down, popped the people to the wings, and then the uh, ran out of motion cut away. And uh, so, you know, both coaches trying to get something going offensively. Should be an interesting halftime in both locker rooms. Paul Vashon directs his troops. Team of the Ferrier shot off the back of him, no good. Seems like I've said that a lot with Coney shoot foul shots this morning. Well, they haven't uh, really been too successful on the foul line, but again, uh, it's hard to say. Turnaround shot is going to be short. Rebound's going to be off the Thistle. She's going to get it off the back of the uh, glass and in. Bangor's last two scores come on the offensive board. Good second efforts. 17-14. Bangor cuts the lead to three. Inside of the goal of she's going to be called for the travel on the switch of the pivot feet. Uh, and Charlotte Sear came over and helped out real good. They fronted her from the front side and lobbed it. Then Charlotte Sear came from the offside and really created that travel. It was good defensive play on Charlotte Sear's part. Michelle Poles working against the time and the pressure. Gets it to Waterman. Shot up by Thistle at the buzzer with a count. It will. 17-16. We go to halftime. The score. Bangor trails it by one. We'll be right back after this two-minute break. Speaking of down the road, down the road of peace down in Pittsfield, there is a basketball team which is uh, one of the best around, and no question uh, they are the best in prep school basketball. The MCI prep team has won 79 straight games, and they're undefeated this year again. They will play for the, the New England Championship tomorrow against St. Thomas More. We're joined by Carl Parker, who's an assistant coach 
Max Good, the head man down in Pittsfield, and you've been down there a few years, Carl. That's some team. That's a lot of talent down there in Pittsfield. Yeah, we're very fortunate. We've got a lot of good players from around the country who play very hard. Throw some names at me, some coaching names and some schools that where these guys, uh, some of these players may be going next year. Yeah, point guard from Washington, D.C., Johnny Rhodes. Uh, he's headed to Maryland. Uh, two guard, Mark Bass, is from Trenton, New Jersey. He's headed to St. Joe's, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, three man is Pax Whitehead from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, and he's looking at the Ivy League schools, Princeton. Pro uh, professional talent, NBA talent, some of these guys, you think? Uh, Johnny Rhodes, I think, will be playing in the NBA. Edric Bohannon, our center who's headed to Arizona, has aspirations to play in the NBA. And his backup, Dan Bowie, is an awful good player who'll probably be playing in the Big East next year. Super, uh, super, another super season, and uh, best of luck tomorrow, Carl. And you're a former Bangor High School uh, boys coach. You enjoy coming back and watching the, uh, the old boys team? The yeah, boys played very well, really. Uh, they kind of flatted at the end, but uh, John Tennant came up with a big defensive play that led to a bucket by Billy Newman. And I think they get over that first round jitters and uh, will be tough the rest of the way. You also got reason to be a proud dad in the stands now because uh, daughter Courtney playing for the Bangor girls team. How much scoring here in the first half, Carl? Oh, they've been kind of ragged. She turned the ball over a couple of times. They came back, scored the last three hopes. So it's a one-point game. It's anybody's ball game. As Hopefully. a coach, as a coach, are you are you tough on Courtney when she comes home? Probably too tough. <laughs> Carl, best of luck in the second half and tomorrow down with the MCI prep team. Thank you very much. Okay, Carl Parker, former Bangor boys coach, enjoying himself down here watching as a, a spectator up in the stands, uh, the daughter uh, down on the floor. We'll be back to talk a little bit more at halftime and uh, tell you about what's coming up later on today when we come back to the Bangor Auditorium right after this timeout. Okay, here we are back at the Bangor Auditorium getting ready for the start of the second half of play. As you see coming up next, the Bulldogs of Lawrence and the Old Town Indians in quarterfinal Class A boys action coming up right after the conclusion of this one. Bangor and Coney, 17-16 in favor of the Coney Rams at this point. Coach Bangor on a nice little run to end the first half. Uh, maybe that will spark them into the second half. Right, Coney had a run there, we jumped it from like 11 to 10 to 17 to 10. They had their run midway through the second quarter. Then at the end of the second quarter, Bangor had their run. And like I said, it's, it's a mirror. I mean, these two teams are really playing just about it like the other team is playing. It's, uh, it's amazing to, to see that. Usually you don't see teams counter and complement each other really the same way. The styles are pretty quite similar, and uh, it's going to be a good ball game. Bangor with the first possession of the second half. Leah Thistle looking to get it in bounds. It's going to be stolen away right away by Sarah Fenderson. She goes to the basket, and she's going to be fouled by Amy Waterman. Fenderson so, has, no, has no problems about taking that ball to the hoop. She uh, goes to the basket. She has a definite nose for the hoop, as shown there. And she's going to go to the line for two. I think you hit on it in the first half that, uh, you know, had Coney been on the foul line and shot, you know, 60%, uh, they'd have themselves maybe six, seven point lead. Sarah Fenderson on the first shot is off the back of the rim, no good. The lid stays on as far as the foul shooting for the Coney Rams. Sarah Fenerson will try to break that. And she can. Both shots no good by Fenerson. Rebound Engelbrecht. Off to Waterman. Working against hard pressure. They get it over to Parker on the right-hand side. She crosses half court. Working against Alyssa Farrell. Takes it to the left-hand side. Looking to post up Thistle. They do. They get the ball to Thistle inside. Short up short. Short. Rebound by Charlotte Sears put up and in. And Bangor grabs the lead, 18-17. Annanetto looking inside to Chris Ann Burns. Shot up by Chris Ann Burns off the glass and in. Both coaches have the same halftime clock. <laughs> really both teams are going right inside. Get the ball inside and let's see what happens. Courtney Parker working against Farrell. Coney looking at double team. Bangor getting the ball baseline to Sears. They try to go inside. Sears drives baseline. Short shot up by Sears. Good. Foul's going to be on Coney. The basket will count. Foul on Anna Neto of Coney. 5'9", junior for Coach Paul Vashon. Charlotte Sears at the line. 65% foul shooter. 
Tom. Bengals only scored once from the foul line, and that's all Tony scored. So you want to talk about similarities again? Really? Uh, you know, we talked that Tony wasn't shooting well from the foul line. Uh, Mike's just totaled up the foul shooting. If Tony's one for nine, and he's going to do bang on here just a minute. Charles here converts with the uh, conventional three-point play. It is 21-19. Long shot by Ananetto is no good. And the rebounding action, Alyssa Farrell will be called for the personal foul. John Sawyer, 31 of the rebound, they say. Alyssa Farrell, ball will go to Bangor, and Leah Thistle will trigger it in for the Bangor Rams, Coach Tom Tennant. They get it to Courtney Parker, bringing it up the middle of the floor. Working against Fenderson. Inside, they get it to Thistle. Turnaround shot by Thistle off the glass, no good. Rebound off to Maselli. She gets it to Fenderson on the left-hand side. Cross half court up to Neto. Nice duck and move by Anna Neto off the glass and in. And we're all knotted at 21. What a real nice pass from 21 Fenderson. That really keyed the play. The nice, the nice speed of the move. Amy Waterman for the Bangor. Look to go inside again to Thistle. Nothing there. She's going to go around Maselli, and Maselli is going to be called for a personal foul. Bang on two for seven for the follow -up. So, you know, we talk about matching each other up here and, and all these things. If Tony comes out, makes their adjustments, goes to the paint, scores. Bang on this down, they go to the paint, they score. It's, again, uh, really uh, a lot of similarities in these ball clubs. Is this, the, is this one of those games that goes down to the whoever has the ball last situation? Well, it looks like it might be, just like the one we just saw before, you know. And, boy, those are tough losing tournaments. Oh, no you know. question. It's you really worked tough. so hard to get yeah. here, and uh, yeah. you hate to see... Anybody lose a tough one like that. You oh, don't yeah. want to lose, but I mean, you hate to see somebody lose at the end of a ball game as yeah. happened in the first ball game. And a great game played by both teams in the first game. No question about it. Second shot up by Thistle is good. It's 22 21. Bangor by one. Fenderson on the left to Farrell. Gets it to Maselli. Working against Charlotte. See it back on top to Fenderson, who's working against Waterman. She tries to drive right, nothing there. Inside they get to Maselli. Maselli over and go back. Good. Nice left hand by Tammy Maselli. I think both coaches have decided that uh, the outside game is really struggled. They're just going to uh, pound it inside of the paint and hope that, uh, that they get some more fouls and uh, possibly, uh, you know, just change the defense so that they can't put as much pressure on the ball. Amy Waterman doing a good job against pressure. Gets it inside to Charlotte Sears. Shot up, shot up by Sears. Off the back of the rim, no good. There's going to be a foul called on the Coney Rams. No shots coming from the paint. I think both coaches just must have gone in and just said, look, we're going to pound it right in there. I think uh, the, the halftime speech in the <laughs> locker rooms was on tape because <laughs> both it seems like both, things, uh, both coaches uh, come out tried to get their team to do the same thing. This time, shot up by Sears, good. And we're nodded at 23. And Bangor's now made three out of the last four from the foul line. So if there's a difference right now, it's Bangor's starting to capitalize on the foul line. Second shot, no good by Charlotte Sear. You jinxed her, coach. Yeah, it always happens, <laughs> doesn't it? Always I did happens. that last night. Yeah, always happens. On the left, Duffy out top to Neto for Coney. Working against Leah Thistle. Close to the middle lane, shot up by Neto is no good, but she's going to be called, uh, excuse me, foul's going to be called on Leah Thistle. Who gave up a little bit of defensive position off the drive. Credit to Anna Neto on the quick first step. She'll go to line and shoot two. Now she took uh, Neto's strong hand away from her on the right, forced her to go left, and Neto just didn't stop. She just kept right going to the basket. Very nice aggressive play. player. Yeah. Anna Netta will be at the line for two. This one's all net. It's 24-23, Coney by one. Might be that the, the, the players aren't used to being so wide open at the foul line because <laughs> there's been somebody right on them all the time on the floor, so they take them a little while to adjust to that. Maybe that's the reason they haven't shot well for the foul line. Anna Netta on the second one is good. All net again. She has seven. And Coney leads it by two. 25-23, more full court pressure by the Coney Rams. Courtney Parker gets across half court. Ball's going to be knocked away by Neto, and it's going to be tie-up. And ball will go to Coney on the tie-up. 
Hate to see your point guard pick the ball up just after she gets across half court. All kinds of defensive pressure that time being applied by the Coney Rams. Yeah, and then the midcourt line becomes another defensive player because you can't back up and pivot or anything because you're worried about the line. No, that's, that's pretty true. Kelly Duffy on the baseline for Coney. Gets out top to Fenderson. Working against man-to-man -man pressure by Bangor. On the right, they get it to Netto, working against Thistle. Skip pass, almost stolen by Waterman, picked up by Fenderson. Looking to go right. Courtney Parker calls a switch, now it's Waterman on Duffy. Duffy takes her to the basket, shot off the front of the rim, no good, rebound Maselli. Turnaround shot by Maselli, blocked by Waterman, picked off by Parker. Nice defensive play by Amy Waterman. Courtney Parker. Working against Fenderson. Look to go inside to Thistle, nothing there. They swing the ball to the right side. Trying to get the ball inside to Thistle. Maselli doing a nice job defensively. Courtney Parker tries to take it in the middle, nothing there. Bang are showing good patience now, too. Something that's needed to be done. Run your offense, get the shot that you want. Don't let the defense dictate what you're gonna take for a shot. On the, on the drive by Parker, there's gonna be a foul. Ball will be out on the sideline to Bangor. That foul this time called on Sarah Fenderson. Be her second personal foul, and Coney's fifth. And Bangor still staying with that, with that motion offense. Leah Thistle keys it into Courtney Parker, who almost travels, but throws herself. And the basketball, she gets it right to Waterman, inside to Engelbrecht. Turnaround shot by Engelbrecht, blocked by Maselli, but recovered by Engelbrecht. Out top to Courtney Parker. Inside they try to go to Thistle. Ball's gonna go out of bounds over her head, through her hands, and it's gonna go to Coney. The defenses are still really dictating what's happening in this ball game. Angela Boat into the ball game for the Coney Rams. Keys it in to Sarah Fenderson. Running their motion offense. Inside they, they look. To both, shot up no good. Rebound by Chris Ann Burns, shot up no good. There's gonna be a tie up with the rebound. This time it's gonna go to Bangor. Leah Thistle working against full court, denying pressure of Coney. Gets it into Waterman. Tries to go sideline, smartly turns it back inside. Get it to Courtney Parker, will take it across half court in her own. Working against Benton. And she's going to be called for the travel. Okay, it'll be Coney basketball on the sideline. Boat gets it in to Fenderson. He's going to walk it across half court. Working against Waterman on the right side to Netto. They're posting up Kirsten Burns. Turnover number two in a row. Didn't we just see that a minute ago? <laughs> I mean, again, again, they're married. Oh, they're going to be, you know how fans always say called on both right. ends. Well, well, nobody can say that right now. Right. Again, both teams looking to go inside. Last time, couple of times they've turned it over. Courtney Parker on the right side to Waterman. Looking to post up Engelbrecht. Chris Ann Burns, a nice defensive play, steps in front of her and steals the basketball. And Anetto gets it into Fenderson. On the left-hand side to Duffy. Inside they go to Burns. Foul's gonna be called against Gene Engelbrecht. Strategy at this point, pretty obvious as far as both teams are concerned. Swing the ball, get the ball inside. Let our big people see what happens. And not to be redundant, I, you know, it's just again, the defense is just really just dominating this ball game. And it isn't because the offense is not. Oh, really nice strong. move, nice move here on the out of bounds play by Boat. And she's gonna be fouled on the play and the shot's gonna be good. Coney with a four point lead, Boat will go to the line and a chance to increase that lead to five. A nice out of bounds play for, for number 34, and she makes a nice power layup. And again, Coney taking advantage, maybe possibly, of just having a chance to have the defense relax for a second because they were standing around waiting. Shot is up and good. Three point play by Boat. It's 28 23. Coney by five as Courtney Parker works against Fenderson. Ball's going to be on the sideline in turnover. Coach Tom Tennant wants timeout. 
And with that, the score 28-23, Coney by five. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Back here at the Bangor Auditorium, Tom Tennant, Paul Vashon, both talking to their respective teams, trying to set up the strategy for the final 244 of the third period of play. Coney leads it by five, 28-23. Anything different gonna happen, Coach? Well, uh, I don't know. It really, the game has really just been along the same lines. Coney's made a run here in the beginning of the third quarter, much like they did in the second quarter. Then Bangor came back at the end of the second quarter, so. That's the next thing to expect, I think. <laughs> okay, Coney keeps it in, finishes it to Laferia. Stolen away by Leah Thistle. Nice defensive move by Leah Thistle. Sarah Parker in the ball game. Gives it to sister Courtney Parker. Back to Sarah on the right-hand side. Out top to Courtney. Inside they go to Leah Thistle, but we're gonna have a foul away from the basketball. And it looks like it might be called on Tammy LaFerriere. It's going to be 42, and, and again, it was 42 against 42, so we know one of those 42 <laughs> is going to get the foul. No, I yeah. take that back. 42 Bang, I got 42 the foul. 42 Bangor. Right, but she fouled 42 Coney. Okay, <laughs> Sherry Nye will be called for the personal foul. Sarah Fennison bringing it across half court, goes right to the basket and converts. Again, some soft defense that time by the Bangor Rams. Courtney Parker working against Benderson. Trying to get things going offensively for the Bangor Rams. On the right side, they get it to Thistle. Working hard against both. She tries to drive baseline. Baseline's gonna be shut off. But no, says John Sawyer. Shut off too hard. Match up here is 34-34. Fenderson made a nice drive. We used the left hand. You know, Bangor took a right hand away, and she just did not slow down. Nice, nice play. Bangor keys it in. Inside they go to Sear. Turnaround shot by Sear. Off the glass, no good. Rebound to LaFerriere of Coney. Up to Fenderson. Cross court pass to Bowen. Nice job by Sarah Fenderson to see in the floor. And Bowen converts with two. Their biggest lead of the ball game. It's 32-23. Bangor down by nine. Courtney Parker working against traffic pressure of Coney. Gets it to Sarah Parker. Back to Courtney on the wing of the right. Inside shot is up off the front of the rim. No good. And rebound this time to LaFerriere. Up court, they get it to Anna Neto, who drives the middle of the lane. Nice dish to Bowden. She missed the money. But she's going to be fouled, what looks like, on the rebounding action. Nice dish that time by Anna Neto, but Bowden missed the money. Yeah, and Fennis is going to this charge because she had the drive, she had a nice assist, and then she had a nice pass here. No question the difference right now as far as Paul Vashon and the Coney Rams are concerned is Sarah Fenderson. Yeah, you know, it was like we talked about the first game. You know, the person that makes the pass ought to get a point, just like in hockey, because that's the most important thing is create the play. The easy thing is finishing the shot off, especially when you open, you know, being the open. You don't see it in the, in the scoring columns very often. Long shot this time is up by Duffy off the rim, no good. Rebound in and Edo inside is good. 34-23 the lead. Comes to 11. Courtney Parker trying to dribble to against the middle of the press. She gets it across half court, working against Fenderson. Goes to the middle of the lane. She's going to be knocked to the floor and it's going to be taken away by LaFerriere. Off to Fenderson. Taking the ball to the middle. Baseline to Duffy. Shot up by Duffy is short. Foul in the rebounding action. It's going to look like it's going to go against Anna Neto of Coney. Yeah, she, she ran into uh, Thistle, knocked Thistle to the floor. Uh, looks like one on one now, too. Both teams will be in the one on one not only for the remaining 39 seconds of the third period, but for the remainder of the ball game. They have an, another eight minutes beyond this 39 seconds. Both teams will be shooting, I'm sure, a lot of foul shots down the stretch. Yeah, that's going to be key now. It was like the boys' game this morning. Terrible got back in the ball game by getting on the foul line with the clock stopped. And uh, if Bangor's going to make a run here, they're going to have to start making the foul shots. Leah Thistle. Shot up and around the rim, good. 5'10 junior, transfer from Dover Foxcroft. Having an excellent year for Coach Tom Tennant and the Bangor Rams. They trail it by 10, 34-24, just 39 seconds remaining. Second shot up by Thistle is all net. It's 
Full court pressure this time being applied by Bangor. They trap Knoyer. Bangor gets it, uh, Coney gets it up quickly. They go to the basket, Duffy does. It's gonna be a foul called this time on Mary Esty. Nice job that time. By the Coney offense as Coach Tom Tennant says, what can we do here? Gotta get back into this one, 30 seconds remaining. Kelly Duffy at the line to shoot two. Looks like Coney's changed around a little bit. It's decided it's possibly if they can't get it inside with their screening game, that they're gonna just penetrate and go to the basket. And they have uh, some people that could do that. As we just saw there by Kelly Duffy. Foul shooting's gotten much better here in the second half. I'll, I'll get Mike to uh, do that for us, pick it up. And you can see now those uh, blank zeros are starting to fill in a little bit in the scorebook. So they're starting to, to shoot the ball better for the foul on both teams. Kelly Duffy, an 83% foul shooter. <laughs> I did the same thing, yeah, Coach. I uh, jinxed her. Right. <laughs> How often do we see that happen? We say something yeah. nice about somebody and she misses. Yeah, but they have started. They made a couple in a row. They're starting to shoot the foul shots better. But like you said, with the both teams in the one-on-one -on -one for the rest of this ball game, uh, foul line may be the deciding factor in this ball game. Which, you, but as you know anyway, most games are won and lost there anyway. No question. Especially tournament time, you have yep. to confer it on the freebies. Kelly De Duffy goes out of the ball game after committing a personal foul. Shot up by Courtney Parker around the rim and falls through. And they cut the lead to nine. Parker with a chance to cut it to eight. Got the shooter's roll, hit the rim, grab Diane, but still stays soft there. There's a, that one went clean. Courtney Parker picks up her fifth point of the ball game. She needs to get back into the offensive flow. Nice defensive set that time by the Bangor Rams and a five second count. They'll get the ball with 28 seconds left, down only eight. Courtney Parker will trigger it in for the Bangor Rams. Baseline, they get it to Thistle. Inside, they look to Estes. Shot is gonna be knocked away and a good defensive play by both. And we're gonna have a tie up. This time, the ball will go to Coney. Yeah, Coney's got it back up. They're up four for seven in the second half, and Bangor seven for nine in the second half. So, and that's just the second half. So things are starting to pick up the foul line. Lots of full-court pressure, but Sarah Fenderson breaks it easily. Inside, move offensively by Coney. It's going to be no good by Sarah Doar. And the ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Possession goes to Bangor. As Shauna Cook gets ready to check into the ball game. For Mary Esty. 13 seconds remaining in period number three. 35-27, Bangor trails it by eight. No, they say Coney has the possession now. Sarah Fennison will key it in. First, they wanted to give it to Bangor. Maybe Bangor was just trying to be over-aggressive. Right. We should have just said Rams would do a bit all right, right? <laughs> Stolen away by Amy Waterman, but knocked out of bounds. It will remain with Coney. Sarah Fennison will key it in. Mary Essie coming back in the ballgame with Shauna Cook. They get it into Knoyer. I'm not sure they know how much time is left. We're down to four seconds. Fenderson sees it. She takes the ball to the hole. Shot out by Fenderson at the buzzer is no good. 35-27. Coney leads it by eight. We'll be back in one minute. Okay, fourth and final period of play. Underway, Bangor with a possession. Inside they look to Thistle. Turn around, jump shot off the front of the rim by Thistle. No good. Rebound's going to be thrown out of bounds by Alyssa Farrell. That's uh, cut one way and send the ball the other way, Coach. Yeah, she turned and made the outlet pass. Just didn't really look and uh, thought the free, uh, outlet person was going to be there. She'd taken a step up court. That's going to happen once in a while when you have a team that likes to run. Oh, I don't think there's any question about it. Amy Waterman out top to Parker. Working against man-to-man -man pressure of Alyssa Farrell. Inside, they're trying to post up Thistle. They get the ball to Thistle. Turn around, jump shot by Thistle. No good. And rebound goes to Anna Neto. No question the direction that Coach Tom Tennant's looking to go in right now is to Leah Thistle. Yeah, if you get the ball inside, you get the fouls called, and the, the clock stop, and you get a chance to eat into that lead. Nice defensive effort that time by Mary Essie. She turned and saved it right into Christiane Burns, who converts on the steal for two. Stolen away this time by Tammy Maselli. She goes to the basket, lays it up, no good. Rebound's gonna be knocked out of bounds. It'll go to Coney. Both teams stayed in that real tough man-to-man -to -man defense the entire ball game. And that has to wear on you a little bit, too. It's 
especially when you're down 10, you know eventually you're probably going to have to turn up the pressure. Certainly is not in your favor at that point if your legs are just aren't there. Right, and they've worked hard. Both teams have worked extremely hard. You've got to work hard, play the, the kind of man-to-man -man defense we've seen today. No question. Anna Neto gets the ball into the baseline. She's going to be called for steps. On the baseline, ball will go to Bangor. Leah Thistle, he's into Parker, working against Farrell for Coney. Let's see if Bangor can get something going. Melissa Farrell is going to be called a little overactive with the hands. This is referee John Sawyer. Illegal use of hands. Personal foul number four for Alyssa Farrell. Courtney Parker will go to the line to shoot one and one. Alyssa Farrell comes out of the ball game. Kelly Duffy comes back in. And this is where Bangor's got to get back in the ball game. They've got to convert these free throws with a clock stop. Courtney Parker front rims it. No good. Rebound's going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to go back to Coney as it goes off Courtney Parker. More aggressive defense here being applied by Bangor. Full court deny man to man. They go try to go over the top and do. They get to Kelly Duffy working against Parker. Takes the ball to Lane inside to Chris Ann Burns off the glass and in. Nice assist. Nice play by Kelly Duffy of making the defender commit. And the good dish, as Coach said, easy two for Chris Ann Burns. Uh, and, and give 22 of the points because she made the play. Ball knocked away and stolen by Coney. And Aneto gets across half court. Working against Thistle. Takes the ball into the middle. Dishes it to Maselli. Shot is up and in. And it's 31-41-27. Coach Tom Tennant trying to get time out. Can is stolen away again by Coney. Long shot by Kelly Duffy off the rim. No good. Rebound Charlotte Sear. Courtney Parker with the basketball. Working hard against Kelly Duffy. They're trying to post up Charlotte Sear. They get her the ball at the foul line. Nothing available. She gets it out of the lane. Out top, they try to get to Courtney Parker, almost knocked away. Long shot by Parker's no good. And rebound Sarah Fenderson. Crucial part of the ball game here for Bangor. Annanetto looks inside. Ball's going to go out of bounds by Miss off Charlotte Sear as they try to post up Maselli. Bangor wants timeout. And we'll, with the score 41 27, we'll be back in 30 seconds. As we have Coach Tom Tennant, Bangor, trying to explain to his troops the way he wants the remaining 534 played. Coach, what's he telling him right now? Well, I think he's just telling him you've got to just keep doing the things we're trying to do. You know, get the ball inside, try to get Coney to foul, uh, up, step our pressure defense more. But, you know, they're starting to get a little bit of tired. And fatigue's going to start to commit a little bit in this ball game. I know, as, as a coach, it's awfully hard to expect your players to, to go at them real hard down 14. Obviously, they have to. Hopefully they have some uh, legs left to do that. He, you know, and, and he might even go to try possibly changing up those zone pressure. Baseline shot by Neto is good. The lead is now 16. Certainly a good way to come out of the timeout if you're a Coney fan. Not exactly what Bangor is looking for. Courtney Park gets the ball inbound, working against pressure. All kinds of double teaming pressure. This time Tammy Maselli is going to be called for a personal foul against Courtney Parker. That'll put Parker on the foul line, and uh, still 5.22 to go. The three-point shot, certainly Bangor is, is time enough to get back into this ball game. They've got to make a move here reasonably quickly. Although there is plenty of time, you know, they've got to convert these freebies. For off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, off to Maselli. She gets the defense and pushing it up the floor. On the baseline to Neto. She's going to be called for steps. Trying to take the ball aggressively to the basket. It's called for steps. If there's really been a difference in the second half, I, I think it's been the penetration of Benderson. Uh, and she's really worked hard on defense, and uh, probably if one player has turned the thing around for Tony, it's been uh, the player for Sarah Benderson. No question about that. It's done a nice job in the second half. The pressure seems to have uh, bothered Bangor a little bit more in the second half, too. Yeah, Tony hasn't backed off an inch. They just kept right coming right at him. Boy, things haven't changed. They're no. doing a great job. 
Bangor still not out of this one. Inside they get it to Engelbrecht. Shot up by Engelbrecht is no good, but there will be a foul call this time on Tammy Maselli. Yeah, that was a good high-low place uh, play. Uh, Pistol with the high post, received the pass, turned, dumped it inside to the 44, and that, that was a nice play. However, Bangor needs to start converting these. Tammy LaFerriere, Angela Bowden back into the ball game, replacing Anna Netto and Tammy Maselli for Cody. And usually if you don't hit them from the foul line late in the ball game, fatigue starts to be a factor. Your legs start to go a little bit. Engelbrecht's worked very hard. She made that one. She's worked hard. Don't forget those big people are going to go from basket to basket. No question. Not just from foul line to foul line. There's no uh, guys. All net on the second one by Engelbrecht. But those violations, says referee John Sawyer, no hoop. That's, that's, uh, that's going to hurt too right there. More full court pressure being applied by Bangor. Sarah Fenderson gets it up court to Bowden. Back to Fenderson. Pony in no hurry. On the right side, they get it to Bowden. Looking to post up is Chris Ann Burns. Inside, they get it to LaFerrier, who tries to put it on the floor, and it's going to be fouled by Amy Waterman. I think she's watching Fenderson play. She's an excellent She really is. Uh, she really, I think, again, the key to Coney's success. She handles the pressure well. She uh, will go to the basket. She gets the ball to the right people. Uh, she's a fine player. Manger coach Tom Tennant and his staff looking on, trying to figure out something for the final 438 of this one. See if they can get back into the ball game. Shot is up by LaFerriere and good. Yes, you well know it's a lot of times you can make all kinds of changes, but sometimes it's just not your day. Oh, you've got to go out there and uh, just hope for the best. There he is. Second shot is up. No good. Rebound this time to Leah Thistle. It's to Parker. Working against Kelly Duffy. On the left to Thistle. Working against LaFerriere. Takes LaFerriere to the basket. Shot up by Thistle. is good. She's done that all year long. Nice play by Leah Thistle. 44-30, Bangor trails it by 14. Sarah Fenderson on the left to Duffy. Nothing available in the middle of the lane. They get it back out top to Fenderson. Working against pressure, goes by Waterman. Shot up by Fenderson. Wild shot is up, no good. Rebound this time to Ferrier. Lays it off the glass and in. But again, her penetration allowed uh, Coney to get the offensive rebound because the help person had the lead and that opened that spot on the other side. Certainly the difference in the ball game right now, Sarah Fenderson. Amy Waterman's going to be called for the steps, looking, ball, looking to get the ball inside to Jane Engelbrecht. Melissa Farrell and Anna Netto back into the ball game, or Kelly Duffy and Angela Bowden. 46 to 30, 3.50 remaining. Bangor trails it by 16. This time we're going to have a foul called on Amy Waterman on the sideline. We're going to line to shoot one and one, Sarah Fenderson. For Coney, a 5-4 senior guard, Coach Paul Vashon. Coney Rams, who came in here number three, 16-2. Only two losses coming to number one, an undefeated Lawrence. And shot up by Fenderson, no good. We're gonna have a foul on the rebound. Looks like Chris Ann Burns will be fouled on the rebound. And you know as well as I do, Coach, Coach Vashon doesn't want to see that. Well, he wants that clock to run. Coach Tennant wants it to stop. <laughs> so, uh, Bangor is going to the foul lane. Engelbrecht, she's done a nice job, too. She's worked very hard inside, and uh, it was a good, strong rebound. She's had a fine year for Bangor. Good, solid player. Shot up. No good this time by Engelbrecht. Rebound try, almost saved by Thistle, but it was off her fingertips, and it will go to Coney. Sarah Fenderson gets it into Anna Netto. Back to Fenderson, working against Amy Waterman. On the right side to Neto. Chris Ann Burns looking to penetrate. Can't. Long shot by Anna Neto is good. A three-pointer. It's 49-30. Their biggest lead of the ball game. It's 19. Coney leads at 19. Yeah, and when you're hot, you're hot. So no question. Right now, everything's going Coney's way. They came alive at the right time. Thistle on the baseline, trying to go by. LaFerriere does. Shot up by Thistle is no good. But the foul is going to be called LaFerriere. Wait. So this took the ball, went to the basket high, knowing that the Coney's either could let her go for the layup or foul her. Gene Engelbrecht is out of the ballgame in favor of Shauna Cook. I think 
Tom, Tom, Tom's giving her a rest, give her a couple of minutes, but then they get her right back in for a final uh, two minutes. She's worked very, very hard. I'll tell you, Coach, uh, I don't know if you've seen her all year long, but her work ethic all year long has been outstanding as well as the rest of the team. Uh, but particularly, uh, Engelbrecht has been outstanding. And I think, too, with Bangor's uh, case, they've got a lot of young players. That they're going to be back here next year. You look down their roster. No question. Thistle makes the first one. Second one's no good. We're approaching the three-minute mark. Coney by 18, 49-31. Ball knocked away and stolen by Shauna Cook. Courtney Parker gets it up on the left-hand side. Two Waterman inside to see her off the glass. No good. Rebound to Chris Ann Burns. Alyssa Farrell. And back to Fenderson. We'll walk it up. Working against Waterman, looking to penetrate. Stops at the elbow. Gives it off to Neto. Farrell at the top of the key. They look inside to Burns. On the feed of area ball. Knocked away and stolen by Courtney Parker. So Bangor up court to Shauna Cook. Shot is up by Cook. Little piece of the ball by the bank, uh, by the Coney defender. And the Coney Rams pick up the loose ball. Sarah Fenderson. Looking inside, nothing there. Cross court. Ananetto, long shot by Ananetto is off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound Alyssa Farrell, shot up by Farrell is off the left side of the rim, no good. Rebound Amy Waterman to Bangor. They've got to push it now. And as I said that, she's called for the steps and a traveling violation on Bangor. Well, Angela Bowden into the ball game for the Coney Rams, as well as Cheryl Murray for the Bangor Rams, replacing Amy Waterman. Certainly, Coney's got things going their way right now. Bang a little tired. They're looking up at the score. It's, it's a long road back. Coach Tom Tennant starting to empty his bench at this point. Laura Jordan, a 5'9 sophomore. Mar Mandy Ingles getting ready to come into the ball game. As Courtney Parker gets out top, inside to Thistle. Turnaround jump shot by Thistle. No good. Rebound saved by Sear into the hands of Courtney Parker. They get it on the post to see her make the move to the post. Shot up is good. And she's going to go to the line for a chance for a three-point play. Charlotte see a nice aggressive move on the post. Yeah, she got a nice feed from uh, the guard turned at the uh, the defenders and made a nice power layup. It's a good move. Leah Thistle comes out of the ballgame. Obviously disappointed. Courtney Parker, they've had a great season. Shauna Cook comes out of the ballgame. Charlotte Sear at the line with a chance for three. Shot is up off the rim, no good. Rebound to Bowden over to Coney. They get it to Fenderson. A minute and a half remaining, 49-33. Coney leads it by 16. Ananetto with the drive. Baseline to LaFerria. Shot up by LaFerria, no good. Three-second violation called on Coney. And it will be Bangor basketball. All kinds of wholesale changes for both teams now. Charlotte Sia comes out of the ball game in favor of Laura Jordan. When you look at those rosters, Bangor's got what? One, two seniors, only three seniors? They're going to be back, no question. Sarah Parker from Bangor working against Sarah Dore. Get to Murray. Long shot by Murray's off the rim, no good. But she's going to be fouled by Sarah Dore. Should be a three shot foul, I believe. Three shots. It's, it still sounds different yeah, to hear him say three yeah. shots. Hard to get used to that. Yeah, it is. Cheryl Murray, 5'5", five, five, junior guard for Coach Tom Tennant. She'll be back here next year. Knocks down the first one, 49-34. The Bengal Rams trail it by 15. One fifteen remaining in this one. Murray has the second. No good. She'll have one more. Cheryl Murray with the ball, dips, shoots, and good. All met. 49-35, lead is 14 for Coney. Sarah Fenderson takes a cross half court. Long pass up for LaFerriere. It's going to be knocked out of bounds off her hands, and it's going to go to Bangor. Coney certainly certainly the Bangor bench uh, not real happy right now. And again, everything going wrong, as you mentioned earlier. The traveling violation on the inbounds pass. It's hard to come this far and, and go out like this. Bangor's had a great season. Sarah Fenderson, long shot is good. Three-pointer, Sarah Fenderson. 
52, 35, 17 point lead. We're under a minute to go in this one. I give credit to Coney. You know, they, they, uh, when they started to play well, they just kept right on coming and uh, really got the upper hand and uh, really never let it let go. They just really just grabbed it uh, and said, hey, we're going to take it right home. No question. I think part of that is from last year, they learned that lesson. Uh, Angler beat them handily last year and then they won payback. It looks like they're going to get it. And 51 seconds remaining, 52 35. Coney with the basketball after the turnover. Coney, too, he looked down this time while saying Coney's seen you, Bob. But, uh, so that experience is really paid off today. Sarah Con Conoyer, a five foot sophomore guard, has the ball stolen away by Bangor. Up court, they get it to Jordan. Shot up by Jordan, no good. Rebound's going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Bangor. Tassidy Briggs into the ball game. Cheryl Murray, Sarah Parker, Mandy Ingalls, and Cheryl Murray. Shot up from the baseline is good by Mandy Ingalls. She's into the scorebook. 52, 37, 25 seconds remaining. Kanoyer up. Cross half court is going to be called for the traveling violation. Sarah Kanoyer, five foot chance. sophomore guard. Uh, good luck tonight. You Thank you very much. You know, it's, uh, Appreciate it. It's, uh, People, I guess, you know, if you haven't coached and sat there, you don't know uh, the whole season on the line. And, uh, good luck tonight, you all know, Appreciate it. Uh, we worked pretty hard this week, and the kids are, have had a great year. We're very proud of them. So we'll see what happens. Old Town's a tough team, though. We know we're going to be facing the... Now, how'd you make out with them in the season? Right. We split during split the season, and we were very fortunate to win one at home, and they uh, beat us badly at Old Town. So we know we're facing a tough task, but we also feel like uh, we have a pretty good ball club ourselves, and hopefully... Uh, We'll see a good ball game. Yeah, and you've got a good rivalry, too. That no always question. gives the intensity up, too. First shot is up this time, and good by Mandy Ingalls. She narrows the gap to 14 with 14 seconds remaining on the clock. Second shot by Ingalls is off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound's going to be down to Coney. And she, there'll be a traveling violation. She, Jennifer Palmer into the ball game falls to the floor with the basketball, and that's a traveling violation. Cheryl Murray will key it in for the Bangor Rams. They get it back to Murray baseline. She drives baseline, shot up, hits the side of the backboard. And rebounding action, Parker picks it up. Shot up is good by Sarah Parker. And that's it, the final score. The Coney Rams advance to the Thursday night semi.